Hello? This is Wade Holmes. Uh, no. My name is Patrick. Wade doesn't know it yet, but inside of that big head of his, hey. there's a brilliant mobile app inventor just waiting to burst out. Excuse me, but I have a perfectly normal-sized head. Hold on, Wade. You'll get your go. My name's not even Wade. As I was saying, Wade is destined to become a great mobile app inventor. What are you talking about? I haven't even taken a computer science class before. I thought you might say that. Tell me, Wade, what are you majoring in? Sociology. God, what a load of bollocks. No matter. See, you don't need to have any prior knowledge of computer science or even be very good at maths to get started building mobile apps. All you need is a little help from your friends at appinventor.org. Wade, what would you say if I were to tell you that you could develop an app and have it working on your mobile device in 10 minutes? Sounds like a lot of bull- Start the clock! Well, how did you do that? Never mind that, Wade. Time is of the essence and there's work to be done. In front of you is a computer logged on to appinventor.org as well as the MIT Android App Inventor website. You may ask, what is this Android App Inventor? You may ask, what is this Android App Inventor? What is this? Hold that thought, Wade. If you haven't taken the time to set up your personal or classroom computer for use of MIT's Android App Inventor, just click the setup link on the top of the appinventor.org homepage for instructions on how to do so. Now let's unfreeze our friend. This Android App Inventor. What? What is this Android App Inventor? Oh, right. In 2010, Google developed Android App Inventor, a program which uses a unique coding language for developing mobile applications. Instead of writing code in complicated text, developers like you use blocks of code like puzzle pieces to build fully functional mobile apps. You may say, that's all good and well, but how am I supposed to learn to use this Android App Inventor? How am I supposed to learn? That's where we come in. AppInventor.org is chock full of tutorials, lesson plans, and instructional videos, like this one, for teaching and learning App Inventor. It's completely free and absolutely anyone can use it. And that, Wade, includes you. Now, Mr. Sociology Major, you must have heard of a certain man who had a dream. Martin Luther King Jr.? The one and only. What about him? Well, at appinventor.org, we like to think we have a pretty big dream too. To bring coding to the masses. And that starts right here with your first app. So let's get started. Click the I Have a Dream App link on the appinventor.org website to bring up the I Have a Dream App tutorial. Follow the simple instructions to build your first app. An image there. A button there. Now a sound component. Show that event handle who's boss. Look at you go. Now just plug in your phone. I have a dream. By George, you've done it. No Stop the clock. And with time to spare. Well, what do you say, Wade, or shall I say Mr. App Inventor? That was pretty cool. What happens next? Well, Mr. App Inventor, I have a feeling this is only the beginning for you. What do you mean? Well, just imagine the possibilities of taking control of your mobile device. When designing your own personal mobile applications, the capabilities of your phone are limited only by your own imagination. Think of a cool idea for an app? Why not build it yourself? But I've just been a developer for like two minutes. What kind of apps can I come up with? Wade, I want you to meet Chris Whitty. Chris sold the app he designed with App Inventor called The Panic Button for $10,000. And if Chris could do it, anyone can. And not every app has to be a $10,000 idea. How did I get here? Many people customize their phones with personalized apps with no intention of actually selling them. And you know what else, Wade? What? Knowing some computer science is very attractive. It's true. I just love a man who knows how to code. And Wade, not only does coding experience reel in the ladies, oh, really? but potential employers will go crazy seeing it on your resume. Take, for example, Andrea. Her minor in computer science, which began with help from appinventor.org, landed her a full-time job at Salesforce in San Francisco, where she spends most of her day working with coders. Where'd she go? What I'm trying to say, Wade, is that everyone can learn code, just like everyone learns math, English, history, and science in school. Where's my phone? All you need is a little help from appinventor.org. So what do you say, Wade? You ready to give it another go? 
Don't I need a computer first? Whoa! Fantastic! All right now, Mr. App Inventor, get coding. Your destiny awaits you. Well, that's it for us at appinventor.org. Happy coding, everyone.